OK, today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to use Gentle to create a protein entry. In the previous semester, we have used Gentle quite often, but the application was mostly focused on DNA. So um, we can also create um, protein entries and the process is very similar, so I'm going to do a quick demonstration. The sample sequence use is interferon alpha 2 precursor. Um, the link to this protein we shared in the lecture slides, or you can just type this uh, uh, ID. Okay, it will bring you to the chain bank. Okay, so here it is. On the top, there's a lot of information regarding the publication. Okay, but we don't need to um, pay attention to this. You scroll down all the way to the bottom, you will see the protein sequence. Okay. Okay, you can highlight this entire protein sequence. All right, then you control C. Press control C, or you can right click. Okay, click copy. Okay, so please pay attention. Do not include a double backslash. Okay, this symbol is not allowed in Gentle. So once you have the sequence here, you can go back to the Gentle window, click enter. Okay, and give it a name. Human interferon alpha two. Okay, demo. All right, so this category of molecules you have to choose amino acid because the default sequence is DNA. Okay, so once you're done with the title and the category, just click Control V or right click paste. Okay, so notice there are some numbers. Okay, doesn't matter. And there's some space between the alphabets. All this will be automatically filtered. All right, you can just click OK. OK, then you have it. So next, we are going to adding the features. OK, of the sequence. OK, for example, we're just using the top two features as a demonstration. So we're going to move. We are going to have two entries of features. So you click add features just two times, okay, to create two entries first. Then you can add it. The first one is called signal type. Okay, if you remember what's the function of signal peptide from the previous lesson, right? Signal peptide is required for protein entering to ER. Okay, so I'm just going to put ER and trace signal. Okay, capital R. Okay, 1, 2, 23. Okay, then we're done with it. The second one, second feature we want to add mature peptide 24 to 188. Okay, 24 to 188. And this is called mature peptide, right? Because, right? This is because the signal peptide, the first 23 amino acids, will be cleaved upon protein ending to ER. Okay, so the mature peptide, that means the final secreted form of interferon A2, will start with. Amino acid 24. Okay, and the signal peptide sequence will be called. Okay, so we're done with this tool. Just click OK. Remember to click OK. To, all right, you will see the feature will be directly on top of the sequence. Okay, so you will notice because these two features um, are back to back, so linked. Yeah, continues. So there's no space between 
on the two features, all right? But um, the name of the feature will be directly on top of the first amino acid, this one. Okay, you need to point directly to sequence 24. Okay, so this is the start of the second feature. Okay, so that's all we have in control S. Okay, to save the sequence of the modification. Okay, then we're done. Okay, in order to export, click. All right, just click control E or go to file, click export. Here, I already done a few sequences. I'm just going to replace this one. Okay. All right, then we're done. Okay. 